Breaking news, Lakers called out for lackluster performance. Hey there, basketball fans, get ready for some exclusive news that's sure to leave you on the edge of your seats. But before we dive into the details, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to stay updated with all the latest happenings. Now, let's talk Lakers. In a crucial matchup against the Memphis Grizzlies, the Los Angeles Lakers seemed poised for an easy win on Friday night. With the Grizzlies sidelined by injuries and only a few games left in the season, the Lakers had a prime opportunity to secure a victory and solidify their playoff positioning in a stacked Western Conference. However, things didn't go as planned. Despite facing a depleted Grizzlies lineup, the Lakers appeared sloppy and disinterested throughout the game. They allowed the Grizzlies to hang around until the final minutes, narrowly escaping with a tight victory. One person who wasn't pleased with the Lakers' performance was Roy Hakimura. He criticized his team for their lack of intensity and failure to take care of business early on, allowing the Grizzlies to stay competitive. It was one of the worst games of the season, Hakimura remarked. We can't afford to play like that, especially at this stage of the season. Every game matters, and we need to be focused and locked in. Turnovers plagued the Lakers, with Hakimura attributing them to a lack of focus and cohesion on the offensive end. It was evident from the start that we weren't moving the ball well, Hakimura added. They were more aggressive, and we struggled to find our rhythm. We need to learn from this and come back stronger. While a win is a win, the Lakers know they can't afford to let their guard down as they approach the playoffs. With only one game left in the regular season and the play-in tournament looming, every game is crucial. So, Lakers fans, what are your thoughts on the team's performance against the Grizzlies? Do you agree with Hakimura's assessment? Let us know in the comments below, and let's keep the discussion going.